I'm Tracy Fenton. I am the founder and CEO, also known as the Chief Freedom at Work Evangelist at World Blue, and I am based in Iowa City, Iowa. One of the toughest choices I made was when I was 21 years old, and it was when I decided to really understand what democracy was and how it could be applied in the workplace. And that was really the beginning of World Blue. And what was so tough about it was, you know, you're going up against this established way of doing things, the industrial age behemoth that is a top-down command and control model. And I was some, you know, blonde, 20-something, you know, chick from Iowa saying, I think there's a better way, and I'm going to commit my, my life to this and build a company around this. And there wasn't really anyone out there in this space. Now, that's not to say there weren't co-ops and ESOPs and that kind of idea, but as far as I knew, there wasn't anyone or a company that was you know, really addressing the structure of a company and sort of saying the way it's been done um, is no longer relevant but also is morally wrong and we need to do it in a different way. And I was told by many uh, people who, some very famous names you would know if I said them, and, and names that, you know, you wouldn't know, all said to me, do not use the word democracy. That will not play out in the business world. And I kept saying, but it is democracy. It's organizational democracy. And we've stuck, we've stuck by that. And we now talk about freedom at work, but the, what undergirds and what underpins freedom at work is the framework of democracy. And so I think one of the toughest choices of my life, because it shaped my entire adult life, and what an incredible, challenging, heart-wrenching, deeply fulfilling <laughs> journey it's been. <laughs> what gave me the courage to make that choice at such a young age and then to stick with it, and it's now been 17 years, um, is two things. Number one, it was purpose aligned. And, I mean, I was a kid who... I have this distinct memory of being in fourth grade and during recess when everyone would go and play kickball and, you know, swing on the jungle gym and all of that, I took one-on-one -on -one counseling appointments with my fellow classmates to encourage them to live their dreams and fulfill their unlimited potential. This is in fourth grade and I still remember the place on, out at recess where I would sit and do these one-on-one -on -one counseling sessions, basically. And I have always believed in the unlimited potential of each one of us. And so when I was 21 and sort of fell in love with the idea of democracy, it was so purpose aligned for me because I realized the only way that we can fulfill our full potential is in an environment of freedom rather than fear and control. And democracy creates the system and the environment to make that happen. And so I think, first of all, when you are living your purpose and that moment comes where it just clicks in and you really start your hero's journey, if you know what that's about, um, you know, you're on it. You, you grab, you grab, you answer that phone call from the universe and you go for it. Um, and then the second thing was I'm a deeply spiritual person and I just always felt like I have to do my highest sense of right and I have to honor the inherent worth that I believe is in each person, whether they get that yet or not about themselves. And because that was so just deeply ingrained in me um, as my belief system and it being purpose aligned, that gave me the courage um, to take the step. And it has been for many, many years, was a very, not a lonely journey, but an alone journey. Very alone. And m many friends, family, people were just like, I don't get you, I don't get what you're doing, I don't understand. And it's only been 
I kid you not, in the last three to four years that every everything's clicking and people are like, now I get this. And, you know, I opened up the Wall Street Journal recently and right there it said workplace democracy is all the rage. And, and so to see how that tough choice has just led me on such an incredible adventure, such a, a deep, personal, transformative, transformational journey. And then to start to see the fruits of your labor and other people getting it, it's like the fun is just beginning now. <laughs> I did have one of those moments that basically made me question everything that I was doing. And we were doing our first big global conference. And this is about 10 years ago. And I had done events before. We had picked a very nice hotel in a very big city and lined up a lot of incredible speakers. And we only sold one ticket. And this was the first time I'm doing this. And going into the event, it was basically just myself and one volunteer who were planning this huge event. And we had this big contract with this hotel that was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars because we thought that we would <laughs> be making that money. And as we went into this event, having only sold one ticket, it became very clear that this was going to become an issue. <laughs> and I just remember thinking, I don't know what to do. Do we cancel the event? And we'd already booked the, the speakers, plane tickets, you know, and all that. You know, what do we do here? And I was... Um, I felt bad. I didn't want to really talk with anybody about it. And so I really reached out to the universe and just kind of said, what do I need to do, God, you know? And ended up feeling very led to do the conference and filled the room with <laughs> friends from the, the city I was living in at the time, filled the room, and we ended up having an absolutely incredible event. But the entire time, all I could see were dollar signs and everything and just wondering how I was going to pay this bill. And after the event, um, it ended up being a pretty rough journey to figure out how to pay this bill and how to work through all of this. And I was quite young still at the time and sort of figuring out, like, do we need to – declare bankruptcy, right, as we're kind of getting off the ground, or what do we need to do? And and I remember thinking, you know, was it right to do this event? Was it not? And it can seem like, oh, not that big of a deal. It's just an event. But it involved a lot of money. It was our first sort of coming out party. I felt a sense of pride. Um, I felt my ego was a bit bruised. But the process of having to, after the event, sort out the way to pay that bill work with this company and continue to stand my ground that this was a right idea to bring to the world. That process, which ended up taking three years to get all sorted out, was so um, deepening and enriching and empowering to me. I think everyone has on their hero's journey that point where you are really, really tested, um, you know, where it tries to poke you where it hurts the most, you know, um, which is often the bottom line or the heart or, you know, that sense of pride. And in this case, it, it got me in all those areas. But as I worked it through and stayed true to, you know, my purpose, being fearless, trusting the intuition, um, I was able to negotiate and work it out. Wow.